Hello everyone, I'm Said Mandegar. Welcome back to yet another tutorial. So great to have you here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add a background image behind your windows for rendering an interior scene. First, I'm gonna add the HDRI map and set it up to light up my scene. Then, I will add a color correction map because HDRIs need a bit of tweaking on the color saturation. Assign it to the environment map and dome light. Let's take a test render. See that black part at the bottom? That's thanks to the HDRI map. So let's turn on my background object and give it a V-Ray material so I can control what's happening outside my windows. By the way, if you're wondering how I made this, it's just a triangle plane with increased segments plus a blend modifier set at 180 degrees. For the texture, I'm using an image by L. Joseph from Pixels. Big shout out to this amazing photographer. I will assign it to the diffuse and self illumination. If you're not using any map and just want your background to light up, change black to white. But if you've got a map like I do, keep it black so you see that image on the background. Now, a critical step is to figure out the image ratio and set it up the UVW map properly. Check the details on the image, then add a UVW map modifier and apply the same width and height. The ratio is what matters here, not the pixel. Once that's set up, scale it to get that required size. I've already placed my background object at the sweet distance. So now all I need to do is to scale the image up to match the background. One last tip, move the bend modifier on top of the UVW map for that perfect output. Let's hit the camera and take another test render. To make it look more real, the background image should be a bit blurry since we don't see it as sharp as the interior objects in real life. To control that background image, I will add a color correction map. First, I will tone down the saturation because I don't want it as vibrant as my interior. And I'll bump up the gamma to make it a bit lighter than the original image, so it matches the interior vibe. Through these elements, I can see the effects of each light source separately. This helps me manage them through light mix in V-Ray frame buffer once my final render is completed. The self-illumination element gives me that background layer for some cool post-production edits. The reflection element is gonna make a big difference in post when you're using a background image in your render.
Now let's do some post-production on the final result in the frame buffer. First, I'll add a white balance to bring out that warm wipe. And the real magic happens with the source light mix. You can manage all your light's intensity and temperature by tweaking the amount and color. The sweet part is that you can always enhance your scene's lighting, try different temperatures, find that perfect balance and you don't need to spend ages testing light multipliers. Focus on the contrast your light source are creating and leave the minor tweaks for the source light mix. Just a heads up, make sure you add your lights to the light mix in the render elements tab. Alright, that's it for me guys, hope you enjoyed this one. Please like this video if it was helpful and subscribe to my channel and click on that bell to be notified about the next video. See you soon, have fun!